here with the beautiful and delightful Danielle Bradbury. Give me a report. What's the latest? Well, um, I have been writing a lot, mm -hmm. so we're talking about next album and new music, and I'm very, very excited for everybody to hear what I have in store. I was talking to Cassidy Pope, who's similar to you, and that you know she came in here from The Voice, and what was the biggest surprise to you when you came here? Now that you've had some time, you've learned a lot, I'm sure. I have learned a lot. Um, from The Voice, it's only been a little over a year, which is crazy. Um, I mean, it feels like yesterday that it happened, but I've learned so much being on tour with the guys that I've been with and um, and just being, this is my second CMA, so I'm kind of in the groove a little bit, but I learn something every day. Um, I learn something about myself a lot and the confidence and just everything, so it's, it's, it's really unbelievable. <laughs> I heard someone say it's a five-year town, and I was asking people about that. You cut the, the down because everybody knows who you are, so that cuts off some of that five years. But it does take a while to figure this out, doesn't it? It does. Um, sometimes it moves fast. Sometimes it gets a little overwhelming. And just, I mean, there's a lot that goes to it. And uh, you have to really sit down and, and try not to make your head spin too fast. So it's, I mean, it's really cool. Once you get the right people around you and, and try to stay grounded and get to know everything, then I think you'll be fine. But I'm, I'm on my way there. <laughs> have you ever figured out how to cut it off? I mean, is it a seven-day, 24-hour-a-day world of thinking about this all the time or does are you able able to really get away from it it's definitely something to think about all the time um it's always on my mind personally um but i mean once you get home to your family or with you're with your friends and and you do have time to kind of just brush it off for a few few hours and just have fun and just kind of relax so it's everything's okay <laughs> what did you learn about being out there on tour with the paisleys and the hunter hayes what did you learn about yourself and your technique I learned that my confidence can grow, and, and it can go really quickly. Um, those, those people were amazing. Their stage presence and everything, I learned about the most. Um, their personalities just grow even bigger on stage, and I've noticed a lot. And um, I've, I've noticed a little bit that I've learned from that, being on stage myself. And it's really cool to connect with my fans the way I do now, and it's like, okay, I got the hang of this now. <laughs> I know one thing I bet you learned, and I've never asked you about this before. There's a big difference in doing something for three minutes and doing something for 33 minutes. Was that one of the big, big shocks or big things that you had to figure out? It was. It was. I had to um, really think about how I was going to do it and, and just, I mean, what I was going to say in the time being. So it was It was definitely a, a thought process. <laughs> it's amazing when you see somebody like a Brad Paisley work. You really appreciate it a little bit more, don't you? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah.